ansiitis yes. is basically uh, not being humble. The, the root word is arrogance here. Yes, yes. It's, it's like arrogance. It's yeah. like arrogance is a killer. Okay, whenever you present arrogance postures or arguments, and you diminish and patronize and underestimate the uh, intelligence of others. You are starting to become isolated. The people will not tell you the truth. You will not have the right facts, facts, and then you will not actually take the right decisions because the best decisions are taken with the best information and a combination of intuition too. But, but that combination is not there. The second one that I that I talked is is about deaf tatitis. How being deaf, but deaf uh, from from not being able to listen. Yes. Okay, and so it's a disease because. Is not only related to the ability to listen to learn, mm -hmm. but it's also the ability to listen to connect. Is I'm not only listening because I need to know what you want to tell me and what you have to tell to tell me, um, but it's also because when while I listen to you effectively, presently, totally, mm -hmm. I am connected with your yes. inner self, and. The more the more I experience different leadership styles and different organizations or corporations as, as an executive, the more I I know and I learn that connection is everything. That communication is just a very primitive, basic foundation for connection. The other one, uh, what I call is paradigmatitis, okay? Is is a very old fashioned Joel Barker, Thomas Kuhn. A, a, a perspective about the paradigms paralysis um, is how if you are inside of a thinking model, if you don't get out of that, and Peter Sench warned us a lot yes. about this, um, it, how you are trapped into that way of thinking or into that paradigm or pattern that you have used as a framework. Um, um, I don't remember all of them, but but they are they are connected with with the way that you actually uh, work with people and avoid killing and 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 affecting the way that people can add value, mm -hmm. can share their perspectives. So one of the things that I really uh, uh, use as, as a non-killer is one of the values that I learned from Jay Steinfeld is. Um, uh, that is experiment with a fear of failure. You have to lose the, the fear yes. of trying new things, yeah. to attempt, to 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 dare. Uh, and and I, I had a premise in my life that is uh, asking for forgiveness and not for permission. Yes, and that is the essence of being an innovator. Uh, so. Uh, a, Those those five blockers, those five diseases that that disease uh, that, that we uh, share, are just invitations to do the opposite, to be humble, to be flexible, to be agile, uh, to be a contributor, to be a connector, uh, because that is the right type of people we require. Hmm. Nobody really cares about how much you know how smart you are, how much money you have. What really people and healthy people uh, care is about who you are as a human being, how kind, how, how kind you are, how uh, uh, servant-oriented are, how a contributor and a problem solver uh, and, and somebody who adds value and gets r rolls uh, the sleeves and get I am here and I want to do something for it, okay? rather than criticizing and saying why it's not done. So that type of thinkers and doers is the right type of people we have and we require in our organizations. This is, um, you're really making me think about leadership attributes for the future. Yeah. And uh, I, a couple of things resonate with me. Our journey at Microsoft Uh, which was brilliantly expressed by our CEO, Satya Nadella, as a shift from a know-it-all culture to a learn-it-all culture. Yes. And it's beautifully expressed because you could just see the yes. old Microsoft and its, its intellectual arrogance and its success and its yep. swagger and how that got us into trouble. 
Um, so really great framework. Um, I love it. I have a, a, a something that I read that um, is from a psychologist who is um, um, uh, an advisor to to FBI and a very experienced uh, um, um, police centers uh, in dealing with um, kidnappers and, and, and this type of situations. Like negotiation. Type yes. Situations. So he he says that. We need to learn how to become more interested than nice. interesting. And that was a very slap in my face uh, because uh, being a researcher and a speaker, uh, a lecturer, uh, um, you tend to actually focus your interactions in speaking mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to what we know that we need to, to do it, which is inquiring. Yes. The humble inquirer, uh, as the expert of MIT says, is that w we need to inquire more. We need to, to transform our way of interacting with people as opposedly to be looking interesting. I know this, and I have done that, and I have been there, and yeah. I am, and I am, and I will, and I will, versus, hey, Chris, Tell me about it. Yeah. Hey, tell me more. Yeah. Hey, uh, Genuine can, curiosity. Uh, yes, yeah. that curiosity. It's that a great connector. Humble inquirer yeah. that makes you being interested. If you take this combination of words, interested versus in interesting, and you take it to the business, is how much interested we need to be in our customers in what they do they need, in what do they want, and who they are, and how much we need to be interested in our people. Yes. And um, we're round to design thinking and, yes. and the empathy that's kind of at the exactly. root of that. that. People are, I think, really starting yeah. to put in practice. Human centered ways. practice. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, uh, Fernando, thank you so much for your work. Uh, really excellent presentation today. Not just interesting, but actually energizing. I think that's one of the things that you really did this morning is you created a lot of energy uh, in this room. And those practices, those diseases that kill innovation, I really think of them as, as leadership practices, the, 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 the analog, the, the corollary of those things. Um, and it's really interesting to talk to you. And I think uh, I love what you're doing with your career and your life. I think it's analogous to what we need to do for the sector, for the for the discipline, um, do more inquiry, do more research, uh, get more collaborative, and create more innovation for the space because we have big work to do if we're going to help people get through the changes in work that's coming. So thanks so much for your time today. It was great to talk Thank to you. Thank you. Hopefully it was a great we, pleasure. We can have you back on, and I'd like to sort of double-click on some of the findings of the Institute, for example. Yep. That would be awesome. It would be a pleasure. I want to thank you uh, for what you're doing for the practice on the field. Uh, the, the amount of knowledge and practical and also scientific-based knowledge that you are uh, building thanks to these conversations is amazing. So I thank you and I congratulate you, Chris, and I wish you, you are continuing uh, adding the value to the profession and to the society because you are transforming people through what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, we're trying. We're trying. <laughs> Thanks so Thank much. You. Thanks for listening to another episode of Learning Is the New Working. We've just crossed the fifty episode and 20,000 listens barriers. And we're very excited about that. So we'd like to say a heartfelt thank you to each of our podcast guests for sharing their expertise and insights, each of our sponsors for sponsoring a season. And of course, to you and every one of our listeners for taking the time to listen to the podcast. We'd love for you to join in the conversation. We'd love for you to suggest other people that we can talk to and we'd love for you to suggest topics and th season themes that we can drill into. You can head over to www.learningisthenewworking.org and drop us a line and give us your thoughts. If you sign up for our newsletter, you'll get access to some special 
content, including transcripts, some outtakes from our podcast recordings, and one or two other bits and pieces that we share with people who are subscribed to the mail list. And you can subscribe to the mail list on the homepage. Of course, it's always great if you rate us on your preferred podcast platform uh, or share a link to the show with one of your friends or colleagues. Thanks for joining in the conversation. Thanks for listening. Please stay healthy and please stay learning.